Hi guys, hello, hello, welcome everyone. My name is Andrea Ellis, Fear Free Living LLC. Um, I'm back today, happy Thursday for you guys that will watch. Um, I pray you're doing well. Um, a lot of people have been going to so much. Welcome, welcome, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, a lot of people has been going through so much, so I really felt to just give an encouraging message today. Um, oh, hey, Crystal. Welcome, welcome. Um, an encouraging message. Um, you know, there is so much. Hey, hope you and your daughter are doing well. Um, yeah, it's just uh, so much is going on, and I feel like the Lord just wanted me to... Um, give this message to just encourage um, some people, uh, you know, even um, I feel to share even last week, I had a family member that I'm very close to had a, a near death experience. They end up going to the hospital and they also found out they had COVID, um, but there was like so much involved with what they went through. And, um, you know, maybe some of you are experienced in yourself directly or even family members, my dot, my, um, father had a cancer scare god is bringing him through that um there's so much going on um you know uh um for those of you that watch me i shared earlier that i before that i had also a fraud situation that affected my finances it's like so much going on so you know there are physical ailments there are financial there are um family situation going on with people i have a friend um, that her um, husband uh, um, sister died and there's a lot included in that and it looks like they have to inherit the children and it's just a lot I I mean I'm hearing so much going on so the title of today is um, don't expect the devil to play fear um, to play fair uh, the Lord said don't expect the devil to play fair um, in this life, especially my audience is Christians, right? Specifically Christian women. In this life, especially if you are trying to live decent, specifically if you are a follower of Christ and you're trying to genuinely live the life of Christ and live a righteous life. Not a perfect life, but you're genuine in your walk. You know, you're, you're not just saying you're a believer, but you're doing stuff, other things you're going to be targeted. And in life, we're going to be targeted, period. Um, because in life, you know, there's an enemy rolling around and things are going to be happening um, because he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So I feel this message is specifically for, for the remnant, those that are really genuinely trying to live for the things of God, I really believe right now things for you have been heightened um, with uh, different challenges. And the Bible talks about, you know, um, that trials, I hope whoever listens to this that really needs this, remember this, that the Bible talks about when God sent the word, that that tribulation came to rock, to steal the word. The um, tribulation ris was risen up because of the word, because of whatever word God gave you, whatever promise God gave you, tribulation came to stop that. Tribulation came to um, to annihilate that. And the message for today is really don't allow your circumstances, your challenges, your trials to rob the word to rob your faith to rob your faith in the word that god gave you to rob um your belief about your victory and about the things that you're believing god to overcome don't allow your circumstances to rob your belief in what god told you which is your faith your belief in what god told you is your faith and your faith is the one that's going to bring you to the promise that's going to bring you to the manifestation so a lot of times tribulation comes to rob that promise from you because that tribulation really ignite things that are opposite to what God told you that are opposite to the promise. So it looks completely opposite. So it comes as a distraction and it comes as um, a thief to rob you of your faith because if you continue in your faith, you will see 
what God says to you. You will see the promise. So really, guys, just don't let your trials, your tribulations, your um, challenges rob you of what God told you. Don't, don't allow that to let you stop believing the word of God, to let you stop believing your end result, which is a good result, regardless of how it looks right now. It's a good result, regardless of how it looks. So I just wanted to encourage someone. It's a short message. Um, God is saying the devil is not going to play fair. He's going to bring all kind of havoc, um, especially when you're the remnant really trying to live for God. Genuinely, I'm talking to remnant people, meaning people that are genuinely try to live for the things of God, not a Christian by word only, but a Christian by lifestyle. Again, doesn't mean you're perfect. Doesn't mean you're super holy or super saint. It just means that you're you're living an authentic life to God genuinely. It doesn't mean you don't mess up. It doesn't mean that you never do anything um, wrong. It's not about perfection. That is very important. A lot of times the devil trying to get people to get into perfectionism. And that is also a religious spirit. You cannot be, you're, we're not perfect. We're not perfect. Your heart posture is what God is looking at. Your genuine heart posture, that you have a heart towards him and that you're genuinely trying to follow him. Uh, doesn't mean you're going to follow him perfectly, but it means that that is your aim and that you genuinely want to please God. Again, you won't please God perfectly, um, you know, but your heart, God looks at your heart and that you're walking right as much as you can in your own strength. You know what I mean? So be encouraged and just know that um, the devil is not going to play fair with you. So don't expect things. Don't get so shook up when things get rough. Don't get so shook up when there's our, um, things coming at you back to back to back, especially right now. I feel like things are so heightened. Um, I know I've been experiencing that for months. For months, for months, I've experienced. So I know it's a lot of people, and I talk to a lot of people. You know, and I hear, I hear, I've never heard so much stuff in my life, in my own experience, with other people in this time um, that's been going on. You know what I mean? So really be encouraged. Really don't let your um, trials, your challenges, your tribulation that comes to steal the word of God in your life don't let that rob you of your fate. Don't let that rob you and give up. You cannot give up. If God told you you're going to have something, so hold on to that. Don't let your current circumstances let you give up on believing that. You may not know how. You may not even know when. You know, maybe God, you know, maybe the way God speaks to you, it seems like it should have happened already. Or maybe even it seemed like, you know, um, it should happen soon. But based off of your circumstances, it's like, no way, no way this is going to happen. Don't be moved by that. You know, so the message for today is really don't let um, your circumstances, your trials, your tribulations rob your faith. It's very important. God, God wants you to pull through. It's your faith that's going to bring the manifestation. It's you still believing and keep moving in that direction that's going to bring the manifestation. Of course, God will um, grace you and help you to walk it out. But you have to just be determined in your mindset that you cannot let um, what you're currently going through, let that rob your faith. Because the devil is not going to play fair and he's going to send things. So don't waste your time asking god why is this happening why is that that's the wrong question you know the devil is going to target you you're asking you're focusing on the wrong thing unless you have opened a door you know unless you have opened a door and you don't know and you're asking god in that way like god as i open a door to something or whatever but if you know that you're genuinely just walking with the lord and trying to live the best way you can um, you're good with God. You know, it's not no open door. It's just that you're being targeted and your blessing is in the season. So the enemy just don't want you. And a lot of us, 
many things we have overcome, but it's like the last hurdle of something that we've been believing for. And this last hurdle is like, wow, you know, it's just a break loose of the devil, like a flood of the devil with all these different circumstances um, to really annihilate your faith. So don't let the enemy do that. Okay, you guys. So be blessed. Um, Crystal, be encouraged. Um, whatever you're going through, God is with you. Um, be strong in the Lord. Don't allow anything to rob your faith. Don't give up on what God told you. Whatever God told you, keep believing that. Keep doing your part. Keep trusting him. And really um, don't get caught up in how it's going to happen. Just keep using your faith as much as you possibly can. Just keep using your faith no matter how. Um, don't get caught up on the how, you know, a lot of times too, that will allow us to, um, get distracted trying to figure out the how, the how really belongs to the Lord. Um, our part is just to believe God, the how belongs to God, how it's going to happen belongs to God. Just keep believing. Our part is to believe and to fall and to obey, believe and obey. God is going to give you instructions. So just believe and obey on the how oh wow see so just keep yeah don't that's a distraction the devil get up get us caught caught up on how all the time and you know I've, I've fallen into that we've all we all have so if you get caught up into that you're going to be distracted and it's going to plant doubt so don't allow the enemy to plant doubt through you trying to figure out how um part of the how is just your obedience Okay, part of the how is your obedience. So if you just keep believing and obeying, you will you will you will get to your destination. So part of the how that's coming up now is your obedience. So whatever God tell you, even if it doesn't look like anything to do with what you're believing, your obedience is huge. Um even in little things, you know, I did a message not long ago about the small things. The little things are important too, you guys. A lot of times we dismiss small things. No, it's the little things the devil will use to jack us up. And it's the little things God will also use to promote us. Because when we're faithful in the little things, then God can promote us for bigger things. Remember that when you're faithful in the little insignificant thing, but God is telling you to do it, then he will promote you for bigger things. Okay, so don't, don't, um, don't discredit and and um the small things don't see it as insignificant it's not if god is leading you sometimes you may not even know it's god leading you it's just something in your heart to i need to do this i need to do this you know i need to do again this is coming up clean your house you know it could be something like clean your house clean your house this is for somebody this keep coming up about cleaning your house um Clean your house. This has come up to me in other messages. Something as small as clean your house. Just obey and clean your house. <laughs> you know, um, you know, um, sometimes that could be even symbolic of, of cleaning. Of, of You know, God is a God of cleansing. So don't dismiss these things that keep coming up to us in our spirit. But we just put it off because it just seemed insignificant. No, God is detail. God is very detailed, you guys. He looks at everything. He's very detailed. All right, so I'm going to go, y'all. So be blessed. Um, yeah, Crystal, don't get caught up on the how. Just um, we've all fall into that, you know. Um, it's very logical to think about how. That's a very logical thing. But when it comes with faith, Faith is very, you know, not a lot, not logical. It, it bypasses your senses. So you just have to tap into the spirit part and remember that God takes care of the how. Our part is faith and obedience. And I felt to tell you specifically, uh, the how is in your obedience. So whatever God instruction God give you, whatever ideas he give you, whatever he's directing you to do, just follow that and it will lead you to the manifestation at some point, you know, so be blessed you guys. I'll see you guys 
soon um i have to say that because you know god is just he's all he's not leading me always the same so i may come next thursday i may not so guys be blessed um god is with you be encouraged don't let your circumstances oh you're welcome you're welcome thanks for coming on don't allow your circumstances to rob your faith because a lot of the things coming at you is really the enemy and he's not gonna play fair and he's he's trying to derail your faith through the, the, the challenges and the circumstances to beat you down enough where you get so weakened in your faith that you really give up, you know? And a lot of you are closer than you think. So don't be, don't be moved. You know, you have to literally, literally make a decision to say, I see this, but I don't see it. It's like, you see what's going on, but I'm not going to the, um, to decide that things are going to happen based off of my circumstances. You have to decide things are going to happen based off of the word of God, based off of the promise, not your circumstance. Okay, so don't allow your circumstance to rob your faith. That's the message. Don't allow your circumstance to rob your faith because the devil is not going to play fair. He's going to pull out all stops against you. Okay, and you're especially right now, especially that tells me that things are in the near future for many many of us okay so he's he's pulling out all the stops so um that we don't we don't get to that place where we all oh, the word become flesh in our life but god want to make the word to become flesh in our life god wants to make the word that he told us that he promised us to become flesh meaning manifest meaning manifest so be blessed you guys love you guys See you guys soon. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, Crystal. Be blessed.